In this video we take you on a stunning hike around the Yorkshire Dales and as you'll see, the gates aren't meant for full size adults. I thought this would be a perfect location to tell you that we're on a nice little six mile circular walk today. The river in the background, see them all, the other trees and the hills and the valley and it looks a lot very Scotland. Yeah, it's straight from the campsite with a little walk yeah. in it. Straight from site, six miles off the beaten track. Never knew you had it in you Yorkshire, well done. I think we might have just spotted a little bit of a gem around this corner. Had no idea it was here. Have a look at this. Not bad, eh? A little leg burner up from the waterfall. Looks like we're not finished yet. You get a nice view behind you. Wind's picked up a bit. We found our mode of transport back down the hill. It was always on fire. Fall in love with Yorkshire more and more. Look at this view. We were dancing on a wire, reckless hipsy. We found holes in these walls. We like what we saw. Seems so strong until it falls. Fire, you sick of white water yet? <laughs> Our new favourite thing. <laughs> well, well, that's a bit more coppery brown in it. It's weird, isn't it? This walk has got it all. If if my battery lasts until we get home, I'll put the the uh, the route on the map on screen for you. Four mile in dog poop. <laughs> We are currently on the return leg, probably a couple of miles ago yet, and we know what we're cooking for tea, but there's a pretty good chance you might see us in the pub. We decided against going to the pub. There was a beautiful sunset as we arrived back to the van and it's cool, it's calm. And Sarah rightly said, 
why spend 50 quid when we've got a load of logs and food to cook and it saves us a 20 minute round walk to the pub <laughs> we'll just relax in front of the fire we're gonna have a burger that we bought from the farm shop on site and then just switch off We've woken up to a gorgeous morning in the Yorkshire Dales. It's wall to wall blue sky, it's cold, no wind, sound of the river running past. There wasn't a lot of sleep had by me last night because Jack decided he wanted quite a unique position in the bed and stole me covers. But we had the diesel heater on for a little bit this morning, first time. It must have meant it was cold. Got outside and they let the, uh, the oil lantern, the fuel hand lantern, uh, had frost on it. So, first frost of the year for us. Must have been close to zero. The forecast said about three degrees, but it must have been close to zero. But we're just going to get a brew on, pack up, because we're going somewhere else today. Out. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> I haven't washed my face yet, but a cup of tea is the first thing you need to do in the morning. Oh. This campsite's called Usher Gap, and it's a good one, isn't it? It's a, it's a, it's a peach. Mm. It's so peaceful. It's in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? Mm. Um, mm, brilliant walks. No phone signal, no internet, but the Wi-Fi on site is free, and it's really good yeah it is good the showers and toilets facilities are perfect there's a little shop with pretty much everything you need good meats and off the farm yeah good including good farm produce mm. there's no electric hook up mm -mm. and it looks like in the summer there's a much bigger camping field the winter there's only a very small camping field but there's five vans on here and we've all got plenty of space picnic benches right next to the river mm. beautiful we're heading off somewhere a little bit different now, so... Do like to be beside the seaside. <laughs> We've driven two hours to get the best fish and chips in the UK. Thank you. 